Hello guys, my name is João Victor and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to create a bootable USB flash drive using Windows Media Creation Tool. Alright, so first of all, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment after you watch the video and share the video with your family, friends, pets and so on. Alright, so now what we need to do is to open your favorite web browser and type Windows Media Media Creation Tool. In my case, I'm going to do this with uh, the ISO file containing Windows 10. All right. So when you type a Windows Media Creation Tool, choose the first link shown here. Uh, download uh, Windows 10, all right? Or you can simply type Windows uh, down, download, oops, download Windows 10. And it will show the same link, all right? So, Click on the link and on this page we have two options. The first option is to update your current Windows and I don't want it. I want to download the tool, the Windows Media Creation Tool, all right? So click right here. Uh, as you can see uh, on the left bottom, I already, I just downloaded Media Creation Tool. I'm going to open it, click yes to give the administrator permissions. And after that, this window will appear. Wait a minute. Oh, I was, I almost forgot. Uh, you need a bootable, uh, you need a USB flash drive, all right, to create a bootable USB flash drive. So I'm going to plug in my USB. In my case, I'm going to use Samsung Bar Plus, all right. So I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive. And now I'm going to format uh this drive so open uh, file explorer i strongly recommend you to do the same thing all right uh, choose just your usb flash drive all right don't choose uh, local disk c or other devices that you don't know if it is if they are your USB flash drive or not, all right? So I'm going to select my USB flash drive, right click on it, format. Uh, I'm going to restore. Uh, in my case, my USB flash drive, the system files of my, uh, of my flash drive is XFAT. In your case, you're going to choose uh, FAT32, all right? And, and here you can type a name if you want. And quick format. Start, okay. Okay, it's done. So there is nothing in my USB flash drive now. So we can, uh, we, now we can move on with the next step, all right? Here you can read the terms of the license. I'm going to accept. And here we have two options. Update the computer now. I don't want it, okay? And it's not, uh, how can I say? 
it's not the point of the of this video all right and i'm going to choose the second option create uh, a media installation uh, in my case with a pen drive or a usb flash drive all right so i'm going to click next here if you unmark here you can choose the language the edition in my case windows 10 and the architecture it's uh it's recommend i recommend you guys to choose 64 bit all right change to your own language in my case is brazilian portuguese if you're using english spanish german you just unmark this option and select your language all right i'm going to use uh, brazilian portuguese so i'm going to click next i'm going to create uh, a usb flash drive or you can just download the iso file okay but i'm going to create uh, a bootable device okay so i'm going to choose the first option next here uh, the program is showing my usb flash drive so it's correct uh, next and now the tool is downloading windows 10 so before the tool create the media the the bootable uh, usb flash drive it will first download and then prepare your USB flash drive, all right? So, uh, before it finish the download, I'll be back, all right? All right, guys, I'm back. The download is done. The download uh, uh, can be fast if you have a good connection, in my case, like my case. And now, uh, the Microsoft's tool is creating the bootable USB flash drive, right? Uh, don't close the window, don't turn off your computer, don't turn off your internet. Just wait, go drink a coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of orange juice, I don't know. Just do another thing and don't turn off your connection computer and the program all right so let's wait and put uh, in the command uh, in the comments below if you are using another tool like Rufus, and if you want that I teach you how to create a bootable device driver, a bootable device, I'm sorry, using Rufus or another tool, all right? You can type there. And in this video, I won't show how to format the computer to delete everything and reinstall your windows i'm going to show the process and if you want to format okay if you don't want just create the media and it's okay too all right okay guys your usb flash drive is ready so we can click right here. Okay, your bootable device is ready to install your Windows, all right? I'm going to show you my computer and there is ESD USB. This is the drive, the bootable USB flash drive, all right? Containing Windows 10. So I'm going to restart my computer and show you the process how to uh, change the boot settings in your BIOS to format 
your to run the this USB uh, and if you want to format okay if you don't want just uh, move to another video or that's it all right okay guys now I'm going to restart my computer to prove that the USB is really working okay now I'm going to enter my BIOS pressing delete in my case I have a, a an Asus motherboard so to enter the BIOS you must uh, press delete and here I'm going to press F7. Uh, the, uh, this method is for Asus motherboards, all right? If you're using, for example, MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock, you must press F, uh, the keys, uh, F11 or F12, and it will show uh, a boot option first option, second option, third option, fourth option, and so on. And you choose your USB flash drive and keep with the installation of the Windows 10, all right? And, but with Asus, like here, we, we need to enter the BIOS, go to boot option, choose uh, and go to boot option priorities and here we have boot option first and second uh, i'm going to change to the first option to uefi samsung flash drive and now i'm going to move to exit save changes and reset okay Let's wait and see if this USB flash drive is working. And there it is. It's working. All right. So to format your Windows, guys, pay attention here. Choose, choose the language. In my case, is Portuguese. The date. And... Uh, your keyboard, in my case, Portuguese ABNT2. Press next. Install now. I'm not going to, to format the computer, all right? I'm just going to show you the method, the step-by-step, -step, all right? And here, you, if you don't have uh, the serial, it's okay. Just click right here. I don't have the key, the product key. Choose the version you want to install. In my case, is Windows 10 Pro. Uh, select it. Click on Next. Uh, mark this option. Agree with the li license terms. Uh, next. And here you have two options. <clears throat> uh, to update. And this method here, advanced, click on it. Here, guys, you must uh, pay attention. You must. Why you must? Because uh, in my case, I have three, di uh, three drives, I'm sorry, three drives. Um, two uh, SSDs, SATA SSDs, and one uh, NVMe SSD. Okay, so if you have only one uh, drive, it will show only one drive here. So you can click here or format and then uh, delete. And then you press 
uh, new or next, all right? But first you must delete or format, all right? Uh, and pay attention if you have two, three or more devices connected in your PC, all right? Like my case, so I won't format this drive. I won't format this drive and I'm, if I want to, I'm going to format only this drive here, the second drive, Unity 2, all right? So, uh, in my case, I must delete every partition here, partition 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then it will show only one partition, uh, Unity 2, partition 1, in this case. And then I must press uh, Next and follow the other steps, like uh, selecting the language, uh, the date, uh, and other things. It's not uh, difficult to format your computer, alright? So that's it for this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.